Welcome. In our previous video, we explored how to bring in a character shape and texture from Face Gen Artist Pro in the Dad Studio to customize our character. And then, then we got some of the details worked out. Um, what we're going to do in this video is export this character from Dad Studio into Blender 3.6 using the Diffeomorphic Daz importer. So, um, let's see, at the time of this video, the latest Diffeomorphic DAS importer, I believe, is like version 1.7. Yeah, 1.71 stable. And that's what we'll be using here. I already have it installed, so I won't be going through the installation process, but there should be good, some good documentation on that. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go back to texture shade it. So with the importer already uh, set up in Dash Studio and Blender, what you want to do is make sure you save your character. So save your character, and then. In the area of in wherever, you, whatever library you save your script files per the instructions, you will have a scripts directory, and in there you should have the diffeomorphic scripts. So you'll do uh, export to Blender or export Blender, and you're going to do a dbz file named the same thing in the same directory that you saved your character. This can take a few seconds to a minute or so. You'll have a pop-up that tells you how long it took and an OK button. Also, um, if anything changes with, with your DAS libraries, you can do this save paths um, JSON file. You can import that in the Blender side of the plugin to so we'll have all the paths. So in Blender, you want to make sure that your diffeomorphic uh, plugin is, is set. So I'm searching DAS going here. I have 1.7. Some one small minor revision behind, but 1.7. Um, let's see. That is the other one. So that's the Dash to Blender Bridge. I haven't used that in a while. So make sure that this is um, relatively up to date. And you should hit N. You should have the Dash Importer uh, appearing here. So let's go ahead and go into actually let's hit Control hit A, select everything, hit X to delete everything, go to File, Import, I usually use the Easy DAS, and then we'll find our character DTB, and then let's pay attention to the options on the right, so I leave this at DBZ file, because it is a character. I usually leave these alone. I'll click Merge Toes. And then because it's an 8.1 character, I'll usually check FACS, the details and expressions. I use these quite often. And then sometimes I use the body morphs as well. I will usually use the uh, leave these as default and I think that's all we need to change uh, sometimes depending on the character I will also check add soft body as well and this will take a few moments um, that's at okay maybe because maybe it's happening happening a little bit faster than usual 
because of less less clothing, therefore less geometry. But I'll be back in a moment when that finishes loading. All right, our character has been imported with a warning about uh, shaders at the bottom, but we don't need to worry about that. Um, usually it will change your lighting settings to match what's needed for Daz Studio. Um, let's see, I am going to use the cycles. I should have uh, went to cycles beforehand, but that's fine. GPU computing. All right, uh, let's see, let me lower this down because I'm about to use the viewport. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hide this skeleton for right now. So that already looks pretty good. I go back to the options. One of the things that were that was very important is the merge rigs option that was already checked. Otherwise, every bit of clothing and hair and everything would have separate armatures that you would have to um, merge yourself for animation. I'm just going to use. Uh, let's see. I have the Pro Studio lighting. Add on, you say had it. Let's see. I guess not. I used to have the Pro Studio Lighting add on um, set up, but uh, not today. But it's using the background from Dad Studio, this ruins thing that I, I, I guess is one of my defaults. So I was just trying to get a little bit better lighting in here to see how our character is doing. Let me add a sun just for a little bit more lighting. And let's turn it up to maybe 10. And that gives us an idea of how our character will look. Um, I'll go ahead and just add a camera. I'm just going to render it out right quick and then show you what that result is going to be right out the box. And then I'll show you that once it's done. Let's see, view, lock camera to view. Let's see, let's make this 90 millimeters. Roll out some. So this is what I mean about the spherical eyes in our first tutorial. Uh, in let's see, in Face Gen Artist Pro, uh, sometimes having that checked is detrimental. Sometimes it's not. And this could have been just the eyes I chose in that in the studio, but you see this kind of hexagonal, this polygonal shape, and then this uh, white ring around the around in the eyes. So that's something you have to play with. Still rending right now, but we're seeing we're getting pretty decent results. Uh, so kind of get the idea in the next video we'll go through some more um, DAS importer options as we prepare for applying animations to our character thanks for watching see you next time